No, I was thinking about something. People can't fake it for too long. Like, if you really want to know about a person, you want to know, follow your first man. Because that first man and that intuition, that thinking is normally correct. You'll know about a person, like, you know. And you'll know. I'm eating chips and dip. You'll know on what level you need to associate yourself with that person. Cause everybody, everybody don't need to be in your life. And some people pop up for a reason. And it's for to teach you something. And you got to learn from it. Like I said, people can't fake it for too long. If, they, if you have the patience to allow them to stick around, they true causes will come out. And pay attention to what people say. Because actions is one thing, but people can say anything. They can say, they can say anything. But if their actions don't match what they're saying, then you obviously can't, you know what I'm saying, you can't trust in them. You can't, you know what I'm saying, you just can't. Like, people, it's not hard to learn a person. All you got to do is pay attention. And I know I probably ain't got no manners right now because I'm trying Eat these chips and dip because I got to run out of town right quick. You know. But I just thought about that and I was like, let me come up on here. And you ain't got to call them out. Like, I don't even call people out on that they bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get in my feelings anymore. When you gain control of your feelings, and it really... Not so much as the feelings. It's about your mental state of mind. You know what I'm saying? Expecting. When you learn to not expect shit from people, boy, life is going to be so much smoother. You won't even be getting upset. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know. Uh, I know not to expect nothing from this. You know what I'm saying? Expect nothing. Every time I ever expected shit from people, that's when my feelings was being played with. But when I wisen up and I start to see people for who the hell they are, it's like, boo, it ain't really much you can, you know what I'm saying, say to me or do to me. Like, I know to keep 50 feet away from you. You know what I'm saying? I know my boundaries with you. I know not to trust in nothing you say. I know not to take your word for it. You know what I'm saying? I know how to fuck with you the long way. Because it's really like what do you have to offer? Sometimes you got you to gotta say that in life. You know what you bring to the table. What, but what does that person contribute to your life? So, then you need to think about whether or not you need to be getting in your feelings or not. Because they ain't contributing to your happiness, your, your, your good health, your uh, finances. Your, then, what are we doing? We wasting time. If they not contributing to your growth, you know what I'm saying? Like, you will know if a person ain't got your best interest at, at heart, then you need to cut the screen. Hmm. Hmm. And it's not going to take long to know if a person got your best interest at heart. It's not going to take long. I'm telling you. I'm sorry, y'all, for my manners. Because I got manners, but... <laughs> we all family on this motherfucker anyway. But anyway. And people need to accept you for who you are. If a person can accept you for who you are, you shouldn't have no dealings with them. Because if you can't accept, if I can't be myself around you, and I gotta fake and be fraudulent and phony and try to impress you, I don't need that. Sh I don't need you around me, bro. 
I really don't. Mm -mm. And I really don't want you around me if you got to... If you feel the need that you got to impress me, you got to do something, you got to do this, you ain't got to impress me. Be yourself. See, the only time when people try to impress other people, they try, that's when they're not, they know they're not authentic. Bro, they know they ain't got shit to offer. So they got to try to, you know what I'm saying? Think about it, because a person that's legitimately themselves, they ain't got to be fake, they ain't got to be phony, they ain't got to impress, they ain't got to do the most. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. But a person that's phony and fake and fraudulent, they have to do the most because they're already lying about who they are. You know, they can't be their authentic selves. They don't want to be. They don't want to show you the real, the real them. You know what I'm saying? Like, what their heart be like. You know? Mm. I'm going to tell you something else. Like, I tend to watch low vibrational people and then not only do i watch them i tend to not want their them to you know what i'm saying affect me because i put in the work and i'm radiating on high levels of consciousness but i'm radiating on uh high vibrational frequencies i'd be damned if i allow you to bring my vibrational level down i don't want that you know what i'm saying you gotta ask yourself when you start loving yourself, you just start moving differently. Search shit you ain't gonna tolerate. When you really truly love yourself, you're not gonna tolerate people to play with you. You're gonna be chill because you're gonna be an alchemist, so you already know how to train your energy, but at the same time, bro, you're not gonna play with me. I don't want no parts of that. You want to play? Let me get you a toy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to play with me. I am not one of them. You can play with yourself, but you will not play with me. Because I know who I am. I know my value. I know my worth. And you cannot try to trick me, manipulate me, or try to devalue me. You didn't make me, and you damn sure can't break me. See, y'all, you got to you gotta pep talk. You got to talk to yourself. You, that's a part of loving yourself. Lo look, loving yourself is the best gift you can give to yourself. If you don't love you, who else supposed to love you? And everybody be talking about they want love, they want real love. It starts with you. It starts with them. Are you loving your own self? Are you really giving your own self real love? Or are you putting other people before your own self? Or are you taking care of other people's needs before you take care of your own needs? And your own needs aren't being met. Fuck that. I said fuck it. I do curse. I'm me. If I can't be me, who the fuck can I be? I'm just saying. Like, I really want this shit to sink into people's heads. And I want people, you know, people have all these goals and stuff for 2022. But your number one goal should be to... Love yourself to figure out who the fuck you are. Figure out who you are so you can stop letting these people play with you. So you can stop tolerating shit that you know you don't supposed to be tolerate. Come on now. You sitting up here, you working extra hard. You the only somebody bring something to the table. And you letting people that ain't bringing nothing to the table fucking play with you. Disrespect you. Call you out of your name. Talking about you. You know what I'm saying? Doing the most behind your back. No, you need to know your value. You need to know your worth. You didn't, them people don't make, they didn't make you and they can't break you. Period. Period. You made yourself. Without you, what would they be? They nibbling off of you. Hmm. I'm just saying. This is a game of life. You got to know how to play that motherfucker. <laughs> you know. And me personally, I don't do all those New Year 
uh, what's some thing called? People be setting New Year uh, resolution. Fuck all that shit. I ain't never been into that shit. Even before I got spiritual, I was never the type to to to, to sit up here and make a New Year resolution or a New Year goal. Cause I know me. Hell, you get 15, 15 days in into January, and your New Year resolution is out the freaking window. Me, I'm trying to vibrate on high frequencies. I'm trying to meet my higher self. I'm trying to go places that I ain't never been before. I'm trying to give myself as much love as I possibly can give myself because when I'm fixed and I properly, when you properly heal yourself, that's when you can give to others. That's when you can give advice. But if you're not healed and you ain't got your shit together and you're broken, how the fuck can you teach somebody else? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they worry about the money aspect of things. It's not always about that. Because when you're living your purpose and you're walking in your purpose, everything else is going to fall into line.